In the next few homeworks, you're going to be introduced to another unitary matrix. And that is the matrix that is related to the linear transformation that is a reflection. Now think about it. Let's think of a mirror as being a subspace and you have a vector and you're reflecting it with respect to that subspace or with, reflect, uh, with respect to that mirror. The image in the mirror is going to have the same length as the original vector. Therefore, it always preserves length. Now, you can reason through that indeed a reflection is actually a linear transformation. If you first scale the vector and then you reflect it, you get the same thing as you would get if you first reflect and then you scale. If you take two vectors and you add them together and then you reflect them, you get the same thing as first reflecting the two vectors and then adding them together. So these are linear transformations and therefore there's a matrix associated with that that is then a unitary matrix because it corresponds to the linear transformation and inherently the linear transformation preserves length.